Okay, before we move on to the next step, I thought it might be helpful for you to just see uh, the finished piece. So here's where we started at the bottom edge with our provisional cast on, um, Judy's Magic. And I have a size six needle in the bottom. So my smaller needle and it's sitting right here waiting to be used, okay? I worked up to here and then you, know, you saw where we put the stitches on the holder and now I've worked the right side and then the left side. We worked flat for the specified amount, so that's to right here, you can see. And then the neckline increases started, here they are, all along there. In my case, I needed to do seven, and they were done every other row, and you can see we have a nice straight edge this way. And here is where I cast on my five extra stitches in my case. All right, and then we clipped the yarn and did the exact same thing on this side, making sure that everything matches up. I want to make sure that it's, it's the same, uh, that you're, you know, you're folding your flat part exactly in half. You can see that, okay? And that they are the same length, so you can see how they match up, right? So that's our, our ribbing piece for the top. And you may have noticed there's a gap here in the middle. The front stitches don't come all the way to me. So there's not as many stitches in the front as there are in the back. But that's because we're going to come and add the front bands at the end. And they're going to fill up that space. So if they met all the way, you would have too much uh, fabric in the front. So that's what it should look like. And then right here, we're going to um, start the stocking net. And in this, you know, in um, the pattern, if you were doing the ribbing and the body all in the same color, you, you wouldn't have a clip tail here. You would have finished the stocking knit section in the front. Um, but since we're switching colors, uh, I have clipped it, and then here's our second color, and all I'm gonna do is join it in at the beginning and start work. And one tip, if you want to do it this way, you can have two balls of your second color and just work across the rows switching balls as you work um, so that you're doing so you know that you've got exactly the same number of rows on the front section before you start the armholes. 